Welcome back, everybody. It is Doogie, and it is time for another edition of Doogie's Horror Den. And yes, yes, Halloween is right around the corner. <clears throat> See? Here, let's, let's put Michael into view. You hear that? The demons are coming. Because it's Halloween season. <laughs> it's very serious. Very serious time of year. Maybe maybe if we had like a pumpkin versus Michael Myers. <clears throat> like a pumpkin head versus Michael Myers. Who'd win? I don't know. Scary screams coming from everywhere. You are in the right place for this time of year. And now, it's time for a new review. Yes, it is. Don't look at Michael. So this review. Actually, before I get into the review, I think I should tell you that I have a rating system when it comes to movies. Not just movies, I mean horror movies. And... For whom the bell tolls. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of horror movies I want to see that I haven't seen yet. Including Terrifier 2, which is in theaters cutting it up. I want to see that. I'll see it real, real soon. But let us get right into these new reviews. Oh, yeah, that's right. My rating system. M is murder. Bad movie. MD, murder, death. It's an okay movie. MDK, murder, death, kill. Is the type of movie that you're scared of. But you must watch it again and again and again and again. So yeah. MDK is what we're all striving for. We don't always get it. But that's the one we always want. So. My fellow horror peeps. Let us get right into. These new reviews. And the first one. Well I do have to admit. This first one. I did, I watched, and I'm going to review just because it's a time of year. It's not exactly a horror movie, but at the same time, it is meant for this time of year. And this movie was released not too long ago on Netflix, directed by Rob Zombie, is the updated version of The Monsters. Now... Everybody knows what The Monsters is about. Everybody watched the old TV show. And now it's in a movie format. And let me tell you. The visuals are outstanding. You know? Everything is on point. It's really, really good. The only issue I'm having with The Monsters is it's like... They're... Like, the movie is just kind of like the beginning. It's kind of like... They're reintroducing everybody and they move to 13 Mockingbird Lane, you know, and they have all this money because they sold their old house. Um, but then it just kind of ends. And for me, <clears throat> my throat is trying to kill me. I um, care yeah, so the... I don't know how to say this, but, um, I don't know. I th really think the monster should have been like a TV series and not a movie because when you get to the end, you're sitting there thinking, okay, um, what's next? Like, where is this going? Like, in that respect... You know, that's the only problem I had with it, was that. Besides that, it was really good. 
Rob Zombie did a, a really good take on the Munsters. Um, but for me, there should have been a bigger plot point for me. Something that they were going towards. Maybe it's just me wishful thinking. I have no idea. That's what it was. Okay. So, Michael agrees with me. Um, there should have been nothing more going on. Um, for me, uh, the Munsters is a MD. You know, um, you know, it's it wasn't anything horrible. At the same time, it wasn't anything fantastic. Um, it stars Sherry Moon Zombie, uh, Jeff Daniel Phillips, Daniel Roebuck, Jorge Garçon, you know, of course, you know, directed by Rob Zombie, of course, and he's an MD. It's a great time of year. If you want to watch it, go down, revisit some old memories of the Munsters that you saw on TV, go right ahead. You're going to love it. But if you're looking for something new... You're not going to get it. At least I don't think. But MD for me, for the Munsters, right here on Doogie's Horror Den. And now, the sip. So now, now it's time for my second review. And this one was brought to you by. Peacock. They have their own horror movie. And the movie is called They Them. Uh, it's about a group of teenagers at a LGBTQ conversion camp uh, who are enduring weird all kinds of psychological techniques while, get this, a masked killer is stalking them. Of course there is. Now, you know, this movie was really, really good on multiple levels. I just have to admit. Um, you know, it stars uh, Kevin Bacon, of course. Kevin Bacon. Uh, Theo Germain, Anna Chlumsky, Darwin Del Fabro. And hopefully I said your name right. Uh, Key Tan, Austin Crute. Directed by John Logan. Um, this movie is very important for uh, numerous reasons. Um, the biggest one is um, they really shine a spotlight on all of the uh, LGBTQ teenagers. Um, I thought that was really, really refreshing because you don't see that a lot yet. Hopefully this is just the beginning of seeing... I mean, you, you've seen it here and there. If you've seen uh, the TV show Sense8, you know, um, on that. And, uh, you know... But for they, them, they were totally the spotlight of this movie. And I loved it. Um, the killer is uh, not what you expected it to be. I like that as well. Um, so for me, they, them... I'm going to give it an MDK because it's totally different than what you'd expect. You know, you find yourself really, really caring for these kids and what they're going through and what they're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's uh, it gets pretty emotional. I do have to admit it does. Um, and then you have a killer on top of it who's killing certain people. If you get my drift. Um... If you don't, you'll be surprised. Trust me. I was surprised. Um, so definitely check out They Them. Great, great horror movie. I hope we see another one. I don't know if they'll, you know, make a sequel because, you know, I mean, it kind of didn't leave it open for a sequel. Um, but who knows? I mean, then again, yeah, it, probably, it could. You know, depending on how popular it is and how well it, you know, how many views it got because it wasn't really theatrically, which it probably should have been because it probably would have made a shit ton of money because not everybody has Peacock, so if you don't have Peacock, the streaming service, you know, you're not really going to watch it unless you buy it if you see it, you know, on the store shelves. Um, but yeah, definitely check out They Them. That, my friends, an MDK 
And Michael, do you like MDKs? Yes. Yes, he does. And because of that, cheers, motherfuckers. <laughs>we have an MD an MD gang good show good show I like horror movies I have my horror jacket on supporting this time of year <clears throat> and uh, I got some good shows coming up so don't you go anywhere until next time horror peeps I am Doogie this is Michael and this is Pumpkin Pumpkin head. Here. Let's see if we'll see if we'll stay up there. No, it's not. It's really not. All right, my horror people. Till next time. Watch a horror movie, especially this time of year, because you know horror movie time, right? Till next time, my horror peeps. Watch a horror movie. What you gonna do? Scare you? <laughs>